Well, we've made it this far, and down to our last life and last hit. Luckily, Shredder is a total chump. Obviously, I'll be playing it very safe here in order to not get hit and have to continue. But there's a pretty fail-safe way to win this. Shredder teleports around the room and attacks in one of three ways when he stops. And the type of attack he'll use can be predicted by the color of the flame that surrounds him. If he turns red, flame will rise up on the ground in front of him. If he turns green, he'll shoot a big energy ball Hadouken thing across the screen. And if he turns blue, he shoots diagonally up into the air. This is your best chance to get in there safely and do damage. So just wait until he's blue and the flame is gone and bash away. So with this method, which is needed in this kind of situation, it just takes patience. But it kind of makes Shredder the easiest boss in the game if you play him this way. If you feel more daring though, his other attacks can be jumped over and then jump kick into him. Just be sure to time it right so you don't get burned by his flame. Now that definitely deserves a cowabunga. Made it just by the skin of my shell. Oh well, I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Hyperstone Heist, and hopefully it saves you from a few shell shocks in the future. <laughs>